Good evening, guys. Pete here with Tampa Bay uh, Paranormal Investigators. We're at Rose Hill Cemetery in Tarpon Springs. Uh, a little history behind this place. During the times of uh, segregation, this was the black cemetery. The white cemetery is across the street uh, behind my back here. Uh, so you got J uh, Jason working the camera. You got Megan here with us doing some photos. Let's see, we catch some night, guys. So, so most cemeteries, uh, you know, you kind of get that uneasy feeling. Uh, as of right now, no really uneasy feeling. Uh, no, uh, no cold spots as of yet. Um, subject to change at any time if we make somebody mad that we're here. Um, but as of right now, it's pretty pretty peaceful in here. Which is interesting because something we did read about the cemetery prior to arrival was that other people have been here before and was it, were attacked and had a very, very uneasy feeling just about being here. And that they had a sense of not being wanted and through whatever measure that they had, they were told that they didn't want anybody to be here. So the fact that we feel very at ease right now is different than most accounts. Okay. we got to find a place to talk to somebody. You know, just uh, to be honest, I felt more uncomfortable in the other direction. I, I, would, really? I would concur with that statement. Um, it's actually kind of funny. I don't know if you can see right now since we've been talking about it. Uh, a couple goosebumps there. Uh, could be just when we're talking about it. You know, maybe... Uh, Maybe I hit the button on the head. You know, um, <laughs> but I've definitely, definitely got some goosebumps going. Um, so it looks like this here is the end of the cemetery where Megan's shining her light. Um, so maybe we'll walk. This kind of looks like an old section over here. We'll kind of walk yeah, through there. We'll do that and look around back yeah. around where the where the oak trees are and stuff, and um, see what's going on. I did my Lord deliver Daniel, deliver Daniel, deliver Daniel. I did my Lord deliver Daniel. Why not everyone? I did my Lord deliver Daniel, Daniel, deliver Daniel. I did my Lord deliver Daniel. Why not everyone? He delivered Daniel from the lion's den, Jonah from the belly of the whale, the Hebrew children from the fiery furnace. Why not everyone? Or didn't my Lord deliver Daniel? Deliver Daniel, deliver Daniel. Or didn't my Lord deliver Daniel? Why not everyone? The moon runs down in a purple stream. The sun refused to shine. Every star shall disappear, but Jesus shall be mine. Or didn't my Lord deliver Daniel? Deliver Daniel, deliver Daniel. Or didn't my Lord deliver Daniel? Why not everyone? Why not everyone? Why not everyone? Uh, so, you know, right now we've... Uh kind of walk the perimeter of the cemetery. Uh, we're going to head back towards where we kind of parked and uh, kind of where Jason had that uneasy feeling. Maybe uh, start doing uh, some communication, see if we get any, uh, any contact. Okay. I am a poor wayfaring stranger wandering through this world of woe, but there's no sorrow, toil, or danger in that ground. This is a pretty interesting thing where we're at right now. We literally probably walked 50 feet. Uh, my camera just had three bars. I'm down to one bar now. Um, pretty neat. Could it be something? We don't know. That's what we're here for. Uh, we're, we're sitting here now. I uh, kind of found a kind of neat headstone, kind of old. Um, we'll put the static detector up on the headstone. See if maybe we can make some contact. Uh, ask a couple questions. <laughs>
Uh, so, we've been all around the cemetery so far. Uh, reading some of the internet posts and things about this cemetery, a lot of people have said it's pretty hostile. Uh, they've been attacked in here by entities. Um, so far, the three of us, it's a pretty peaceful place. It seems like everybody's resting in peace here. Uh, no weird feelings other than the, you know, the chill when we were talking about it earlier. Uh, so we're going to walk towards the, the front gate of, of the cemetery, just kind of a, the only place we haven't been to see uh, if we get any feelings up there. And if not, I believe we're going to go to Anclos and maybe uh, stir up some things there. So let's, let's take a walk and see if we come up with anything. Yeah, the only thing I've gotten in this whole cemetery was right here. Yeah, I just kind of feel like overwhelmed. You know, we, we're walking back to the cars now. Again, after reading some of the things that we have read about this cemetery, and people say it's a pretty hostile place not to come here at night uh, because of entities attacking or making it felt like they don't want you to be here. Uh, after being here, pretty peaceful place. Um, nothing really popped out at us that you know made it feel like we they didn't want us to be here. Uh, we tried to make uh, contact with our static uh, detector. No contact. Uh, doesn't mean they're not here. They just didn't want to talk to us tonight. Um, and it could also be that this is primarily a black cemetery. Actually, it is a black cemetery. Um, and we are uh, two uh, Caucasians and a, uh, a gentleman that is half black and, and half white. It could have some things to do with that because back in segregation, you know, black people and white people really didn't mix. And um, there were some hostilities. And they could still be feeling those hostilities even in death. Uh, at this time, we're going to head to Anclo and uh, see what we can stir up there. Hey, Pete, I got one thing to add, too. It could be the possibility, the reason why we haven't had a problem here is because I'm one of the few uh, paranormal investigators that does actually, is actually black. So maybe the fact that I'm black and I brought you guys here has something to do with the, the reason. Uh, it sounds like something up in the tree. Uh. I, yeah, and you know, Jason, I, 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 uh, I agree with you there. I really do. And that, that could play a big part in uh, why we're not really feeling any uh, anxiety or any uh, forces trying to tell us to get out of here. Uh, as you can see, uh, Megan pre-positioned her vehicle for a quick getaway, <laughs> uh, just, just in case. Mm -hmm. um, so uh, this was Rose Historical Cemetery since the 1800s. Uh, didn't find anything here this time. We're going to head over to Anquote. We'll see you guys over there.